Hello everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Sparks with Creepy. Yeah, let's go play more Sparks with just Creepy right there. Uh, Spiral 3 Year of the Dragon. In the last part, we went through the last level of the Midday Gardens Homeworld, which was Bamboo Terrace. Didn't complete, mind you. Just went through. We'll complete it later. And we faced off against the boss named Spike. Who, despite his totally tempered name, is probably the hardest boss in the game. Despite that I beat him in one tri- or actually no, I didn't beat him in one try, I beat him in two. Still. Anyways, uh, something I should mention now, because if you haven't already, you're going to notice it very shortly. Uh, this sound glitched up on my original recording for this, so I had to re-record everything, commentary, the... Everything. The gameplay is the same, but nothing else is. So things like uh, Moneybags talking isn't going to show up. I did manage to save the sound from the cutscene, so don't worry, that will play, but that's all I was able to manage. But I, You can imagine what he's saying right now, right? I mean, the text is down there, so could be worse. Let's see how he beats this guy. Ah, ah, the first rejuvenating breath of freedom. With the humility of a wounded sparrow, I genuflect to my noble deliverer. Uh, it was no big deal, dude. Yes. <clears throat> After all, it was I who let you out. Why, you brazenly avaricious, duplicitous, larcenous ursine! Now hold on! One more, perhaps? At least. Please do afford me the sublime honor of enjoying your visitation in the nearest future. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that little clip of me talking there during the cutscene, that was from the original recording. I have no idea what I was talking about. But I now know that I have in fact gone insane because I have seen a dragon and a yeti converse in full conversation. Uh, I'm insane now. <laughs> no, because HPO hadn't already done that. <sighs> Which, yes, that is technically still in production and I am still trying to figure out how to beat that stupid level. There's not a lot of guides out there that show you how to beat it without just flat out cheating, so that's why it's taking so long. I have to figure this out myself. I have to figure it out on my own, and no one wants to sit down and try to figure out how to play through Superman 64. So blame me for taking me a little while. Anyways, I charge with that cracked room, and then we rescue the first dragon egg. This level stupid. Yay, you're adorable. Okay, next one. Actually, I'm gonna get some gems first. Get over this way towards one of the portals. It's a fireworks factory, I believe. Also, I don't know how that happens. The whole thing with the sparks underwater. Anyways, let's move on. More gems to collect. Uh, this portal's lost fleet. We'll head there later, too. Uh, hmm. Was, um, you know how I've been saying, I think since the first part that Grace It's Virgin had included a lot of separate soundtracks for its, actually it's in Grace Hits or Platinum Hits over in the PAL regions. Well, it really is just Greatest in this case, because it's only NTSC, but they added a lot of different songs into the Greatest Hits version. This is one of them. If you if you try playing through this game in any other version, I'm pretty sure it plays Sunrise Spring theme, which I guess it could be worse, but I feel like this song fits a little better. <laughs> see. Here in front, almost every level in the fourth homeworld was replaced, which thank you for doing that by the way. See, even the boss theme was Sunrise Spring if you played any other version. Just imagine that. The final boss of the game was Sunrise Spring. Yikes. 
that they could have at least used one of the other boss themes. But anyways, here's where the last two portals are. Charmed Ridge and the Speedway. Now if you're going to do the Speedways right away, like once you, as soon as you can, go through Honey Speedway as soon as you can. Something will happen that will prevent you from, but anyway, something will prevent you from going through the 100%ing Honey Speedway later on throughout the home world. So go do it now, assuming you have enough eggs. You're probably going to be very close on this. I've gotten every egg on the way, and I barely have enough. I think 65 is the requirement. It's either 65 or 70. It's a... I think it might be 70. Because 65 is Charm Bridge. I'm pretty... I don't want to say any false information, so I'm going to go check this. Uh... Honey Speedway is Spyro 3. We're gonna figure this out. You need 65. Okay. So it is 65 here. <laughs> Anyways, oh, then what is Charmed Ridge? Without Charmed Ridge? Maybe they're both 65. Charmed Ridge Spyro 3. I'm gonna figure this out. One way or another. It needs 58. Okay, my bad. Anyways, we just got an extra life, because that's awesome. And while I wasn't looking, we did the whole invincibility thing. That was the first invincibility of the game. Uh, it's cool, I guess. Another extra life, even better. We're not really going to be using invincibility that much. There, I can think of one level in this home world that uses it, and that's it. There's probably a couple others that I'm not thinking of, but... That's the last gem in this level, and the last egg is right here. So, thank you all for watching, and in the next part, we are going to... What are we going to do? I'm thinking we're going to do Bentley's Outpost next. Just because, you know, I like characters. Might as well get them all out of the way. But, anyways... Thank you all for watching. In the next part, we're gonna go help a friend. Doesn't that sound delightful? Yes, it does. It's delightful. Talk to you all then. See you and take care. Bye bye.